All right, guys, so this is the video before the video. I just wanted to say this is a type of video that we've never really seen before. My friends decided to help me out and they made um, a video of starting to fix my drift car. Patreon, they already saw this and they reviewed it for me They and they said they liked it. Um, I added a little commentary myself and like kind of touched up the editing and stuff and tried to make it a little more funny. So definitely go down to the comments after this video. Let me know what you guys think. I introduce all of my friends in this video as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy it because um, they've they've been helping me a lot in Florida and we have a lot of plans and getting some cars done, getting some cars out of there. And you guys will know more soon enough, but Patreon, you guys already know a lot of it. So thank you for all the support, guys. What is going on, guys? Chris Rudnick here. And today is a video that, honestly, I'm not even in today. We're actually in Florida right now with my buddy Matt, John, and Jordan, which you guys are going to get to know over the course of the next couple months. They have decided to help me make content. And as you can see, the E36 is moving under its own power. And that's thanks to them, to them three. I didn't do anything. They did it all. And honestly, I couldn't thank them enough. I'm really stoked on it. And this is the start of them working on it and, like, the issues they had and what they had to do to get this thing back in the road. And I'm going to kind of commentate as it goes. So here we go. <laughs> so here we are at the Rod Knox Mod Shop working on the E36 with the LS swap. Uh, just had better days. We're just buttoning everything up in here. Starting with, uh, not sure what you can see down here, but uh, drive shafts in already. So motor mount that? or trans mount and drive shaft. So what's next? Hardware. So right here, this is Jordan. Now you guys don't know Jordan, but Jordan, he used to work at the AutoZone right next to my shop, and that's kind of how I met him. Jordan, he's a great mechanic. Really, anything you throw at this dude this dude can fix and he kind of proved it with the drift car you're gonna see some crazy things he did today with putting a mercedes fan and making it fit under the coil radiator and everything and good guy good personality this is jordan say hi hardware all right this is not in the bag of bolts not the ones i'd like to put in there maybe the ones that were in there but not the ones i want to put in there going out for a little shop run in a second because we're already missing some bolts that didn't come in the uh, rod knock exclusive setup here. This is you want to find it over here. Oh yeah, there is also this option. Yeah, she's been sitting in for a little while. Oof. A lot of while. This is kind of a weird angle. That's the bottom of the hood. Yeah, that is the bottom of the hood, isn't it? Wild. Okay. Hey, you want to go in there to come the car? I've never seen two of these girls on my car. <laughs> this is just the weirdest thing. There's like five feet of space in here. Uh, getting ready for the new Koyo Rad. That's all Jordan doing all the mechanic because he's a he's a good boy on that. He's gotten the headers put on on both sides. He's got the. Do you have the spark plugs on yet or on no? This side, looking? one of them on the other side is really giving me an issue. Um, yeah. We've got to figure that one out. Yeah. Uh, but so far, pretty much mostly buttoned up. Um, we just gotta drop the rad in, put a fan on it eventually, get a fan for it, um, dump some water in there, dump some oil in there, get a battery somehow, and see if it starts. We should get this running probably tomorrow. We're just waiting on that and a few other things. But we'll get back to you when spark plugs are on. Spark plugs on. Now right here is Matt, also known as Clone2. Now Matt, for the past couple months, this dude has been helping me with so much whether it's merch, just helping me around the shop, or honestly just sitting in the stream and playing some games with me and sometimes beating me at Fall Guys, which I'm still kind of pissed about. Anyways, this dude is a Call of Duty master. Matt's a really good guy, and I'm glad that you guys are going to get to know him. And a few other things, and they're just trying to kill each other in the fucking... <laughs> Okay, so right here we have John, also known as Clone Number One. So John and Matt, they are actually brothers. They are not twins. They're not clones. Just someone said it in the comments and we thought it was funny. But John is my full-time designer. He's the one making all of the awesome designs for Junk for Less. And also, John has become a really good friend over the course of a couple months. Matt and John, honestly, they've been there for me so much since I've met them. And they've been a great help. And I'm very excited 
for them to start helping me make videos and hopefully you guys enjoy them as well. Say hello to Johnny Boy. I got skill, dude. Let's see it. So right now we're putting on the exhaust and by we I mean it is mainly Jordan. John's helping support it. Uh, he put the O2 sensors in already. It's a little hard to see. You wanna get a light real quick, John? Yep. It's a little hard to see and you know, it's not the best lighting. But we're getting the, uh, the gaskets put on, O2 sensors on. Uh, since last time we got the headers are obviously on and spark plugs, coil packs, everything's plugged up. Next after this, I think is what, just Fluids? Kinda. Fluids, Kinda. drain the gas tank, uh, fix the door, windows if we can, um, radiator install, uh, new fan shroud, clutch pedal, and I think that's it. All right, so it's the next day and uh, we're going to the junkyard to pick up some parts for the LSC 36. What are we doing? Uh, All right, so I know the trick that there's a certain Mercedes fan that's low profile and super high CFMs. And I found a forum post of someone that bolted it onto an E36 radiator with some brackets that he made. So we basically have to get this fan and get some brackets and it'll look stockish. And it'll cool at idle. That's or actually cool thing. the LS because that was one of the major issues with it. Well, it was just idle. Bad, like, or yeah, it would, it would idle hot. Yeah, so a shred helps with that and a Mishimoto shroud costs as much as that fan. So here we are at the junkyard. It's Big fan. Looks like the fan that we need. Um, Jordan savagely. Generally destroyed. We don't have much time, so uh, things are getting absolutely destroyed. If you guys need that part, it's uh, it's at the U pole, and you can find it it's on the ground right there. God. This motor goes good mile. This motor goes good mile. This motor goes good mile. Come check, come check my ride. We got the manual shifter right there, all ready to go. There you go. I got my home screen buttons. Got the back seat for the bitches, all nice and clean, ready for them. Make it my open recall, still on the thing. Oh, and this is what they come for. This is really what they come for. Overall, yeah, it's a, it's a nice whip. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, did you see what just fucking happened? Oh, it was amazing. So, we got the fan pulled in about 15 minutes. Jordan is very quick about this stuff. Uh, it's already out of here. No broken parts, no bent parts. Don't worry about that. And, and extra yeah. water in the trunk. A little bit of extra juice. Um, Matt experienced it. <laughs> and I found this really neat battery cover for my E36. Usually don't see these. How is it under there, bud? Sandy. Ah, that's dirty. Are you grabbing just the harness? Yep. The plug. So you can make our own. Yeah. It. It's got a relay on it, I we think. Should, we should get this cover that says huh? Mercedes Benz and put it on the LS. Yeah, that's going on the LS, dude. Uh, we finally got back from Home Depot and the junkyard. We have the Mercedes fan here. Uh, and the lovely Koyo Rad for the E36. Need some modding to fit perfectly on there just to clear those pipes and have a little bit of better fitment, but the shroud should give us a little bit more room, uh, or a lot, rather the air more room to get through the fan, cool the LS a little bit more efficiently. And Jordan's gonna drum the shit out of it, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've run into our first problem. The wheel got glued in there from the heat. Ah, there she goes. Hey. Now let's go in for a test fit on that side. You should just clear it, right? I still gotta cut a little bit more off the top. Oh, my <laughs> So now that side is going to line up a lot better with the side of the radiator, and then we just got to clear this. And then this side's getting the same treatment, except this is where the, uh, I think the upper radiator hose or lower goes on? Yeah, that's where the lower that's goes. The lower. Yeah. And 
Got the upper up here. Just got to clearance this out. Yeah. Easy that's stuff. That's good. And then that's going to go right back in there. I'll clean it up, make it look like it's supposed to be in here. Yeah, good to go. See if it clears this pipe. Ah, oh, like he bought it, dude. It's going to give us enough room to uh, fit the hose on there with the clamp. Then just got to do the other side. Whoa, that's good eye protection right there. That's why we wear that. That's been flaking onto my legs here and burning, but like taking that to the face would hurt. Oh. I think Milwaukee's got good uh, warranty. I think you might have to just call that disc a loss, dude. Whoa. No? Oh, still good. Still good. Holy shit. It's the, the flexible head Dremel. That's a quick connect also, so that's why I like them because you can't really break these discs because they just flex with the tool. Mm -hmm. As well as being super easy, it's super hot. But just pops on, pops off. You just got locks in place. So that's a Dremel part on a Milwaukee rotary tool, huh? Yeah. That's illegal. We're going to have to Call sue you for that. I will. All right, Let's see how she fits, dude. Those are the OEM factory bits. I guess we have to cut it down a little bit more down here, but everything else, I mean, here. yeah, this needs to go over a little bit. I was being conservative over here. Always good to cut twice rather than, you know, having to get another shroud. Yep. So it's just a little bit. And then we, we'll be good. Just remember kids, don't measure anything, cut everything first. Make sure you have no eye protection, no, no hand protection, no finger protection, you know. Just be as dangerous as possible, that's how we do it here. That's bad advice. Damn. Man. This thing's gonna fucking rip that hair out. This is gonna be illegal. It's an LS and a BMW with a Mercedes OEM part for the fan. This is blasphemy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Pretty. Yeah. All right, so uh, I guess we're gonna get to the next step, and I'll grab that on camera. This is the fan that was on there. It's mm. a little baby, and it didn't even have a shroud. So no shroud, so the cooling's bad. The on there. It just, so. Yeah, it just doesn't get the same That's going back in this box. I just realized. You bent it wrong? I don't have to bend this at all. No. Oh. Yeah, it can just be straight. But all through it. Alright, so starting from the other <coughs> side. That's a cool ruler, dude. It's kind of bent, though. I don't, I don't feel very safe with you. It's been at right next to the GTR. Should we cut? Should I cut in a clip of you cutting into the golf? Do you have that? Or do you not want that on, on YouTube? Do you have video of me <laughs> grinding up the golf? Oops, yeah. Well, no, the, the papering. Was that oh, the yeah. one where you were underneath the car? Go for it. I'm a professional angle grinder user. Uh, so yeah. I have that so video hard. of you doing it with your fucking flip flops on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I have a video of him grinding his papering with the fucking wooden flip flops. That was on Snapchat, right? Yeah. That was beautiful. I don't have any eye protection. To my K-frame. They didn't give me plates. They had a communal, a communal fork and everything. And forged in the gates of hell. On this episode of Forged in Fire, we're getting down and dirty, making knives. What car do these come off of? Was it a lorry? No. Was it a fast roadster? Like was it a Lotus? It looks like our same wheels. This probably Didn't came off the, the red Miata. These came off an E36. These are uh, sunflowers or whatever they want to call them. Also E36 wheels. Garbage. Yep. Stock ones. How's your uh, steering position? I mean, it's. I got that nice pimp lean. I got the the shift. Uh, I got no. I got clutchless shifting actually right now because the clutch ain't in the car yet. But 
<laughs> this thing is so fucking vague. There it is. There's first, there's second, there's third, there's fourth, there's fifth, and then there's overdrive six. It's not bad. I just gotta drive like a, l a little girl. <laughs> Look at that bend. Oh. Matt, are you even gonna be able to make a U-turn? Yeah, dog. It's too bad for me. Hey, Matt. You know why you can't drive this car up north? Because probably. And what makes it not road legal? Uh, the no registration, the no mirrors, the no, the no insurance. You see that right there? The fact that it's probably a rebuilt title that has. These windows rain. won't close. It's gonna rain once, and your whole day is gonna be ruined. No, no, no. I got cardboard. Cletus did it. Cletus did it in the car with a lunch panel. Lord. Um, I mean, just get a good view, dude. Like I'm chilling in this. this, this you literally have your your knees. If you're in an accident. There's no way you can even clutch in, dude. I mean, what are my, you talking about? Like, it's gonna be hard to scratch. What are you my... talking about? You can't even clutch in. I can clutch in. I can, dude, this is, so this is resting, right? This is not on the throttle. And this is where it's supposed to be fully on the throttle and clutch all the way down at all times. Just clutch all the way down at all times. I don't wanna pull any of this because that's pretty wobbly. That's the hydro. Let's put that back in neutral. <laughs> dude, there's so little. Why we need to fix that? Yes, it's the whole shifter. It's two screws. Just fix it. Is there a shift knob for this? Yeah, yeah I think I think somewhere. Jordan took it off somewhere. There it is. It's a fire extinguisher that's gonna be 100 percent necessary in this car. This is a nice car, man. So here we are again. Uh we test fitted the fan already. Uh I found out that these bushings were upside down in there. Uh because the frame's a little bent. Yeah, this one's bent down. See that from the top. Um, left side, it's barely clearancing this. It looks like uh, oil filter housing. Um, and right now, our biggest worry is when the fan blades spin, they're hitting this dude right here. This is the water pump pulley. So we're going to clearance that. So now we're doing our second test fit, post grind. This lovely thing has got to line up. That lovely thing won't line up because the frame is bent a little bit. Let's see how much clearance we got there. It. it looks a lot more dramatic on the video because it's widescreen or whatever, but. My worries is if the motor moves a little bit, you know? So here we are. Um, it's been a few minutes. The other Sparco is installed. We're still working on the radiator. Uh, tightening up those priority bolts there. Somehow, Jordan has made that fit. Bro. There's a lot of parts that shouldn't work together that do work together. So Jordan, how did you get this massive <laughs> ducted fan in here? Um, grinding, 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 cutting, um, trying, 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 trying. Uh, finally figured out that the way that this has to fit um, was kind of backwards of how I originally put it in here. Um, I had the radiator mounted on this support. This frame rail is a little bent out, a little bowed out. So the radiator doesn't kind of sit in the middle. It sits off to one side. So I mounted it correctly on this side. So that's basically factory. And then this side just has a zip tie for now. I figure something out for that. And that's mounted a little bit further out. So that way we can get this radiator hose down here actually mounted onto there without having issues with the oil filter adapter got sure. that all in there got this all going fan spins nice yeah 
So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now keep in mind, they have never made a YouTube video ever. So this is their first time ever trying it. So let me know what you guys think. They're do they're obviously going to get better as time goes on and everything. And I hopefully they get better at driving too. Because I don't know what that drift was, but it definitely wasn't a drift. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Once again, I can't thank John, Matt, and Jordan enough for doing this while I'm in the hospital and everything. And hey, the E36 is back, and I am so stoked to say I got friends I can count on in a time like this. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do my thing, you already know. Pull up in the bins, oh, she ready to go. Ride with me, baby, yeah, ride with me. Going to the moon, baby, come and fly with me, yeah. Winning, yeah, we winning. Ain't nobody that you compare, come